So my name is Pam Wright. I am a master faster EFT practitioner. And I help people to stress less, smile more, and I give people their happy back. And the reason that I do that is because I haven't always been happy. Many, many years ago, I found myself curled up in a corner. I was rocking. I just didn't know what to do. And I wanted to kill myself. So I drove and I drove and I drove. And I drove to the edge of the lake and I knew that if I just swam and swam and swam and swam and swam and kept swimming, that I just would never get back. But then there was this part of me, this part that knew that there had to be something else. So I began searching. I went to counsellor. Doctor first, after doctor, after psychologist, psychiatrist, and finally, they labelled me manic depressive. And they wanted to medicate me, but I was having none of that. I had watched my mother be medicated all of her life, and I'd seen what that had done. I had watched my grandmother have electric shock therapy. And I could see that that wasn't the answer. But I was in a really bad way. So I started going to counselling. And I went. I cried the whole time. I paid the money and I left. I went back again, cried the whole time, paid the money, left. I went back again, cried the whole time, paid the money and left. And I got to the point where this isn't working. I've had enough, like it's not working. Nothing is changing. And I went this particular time and my counsellor wasn't there. And they said, did I want to see someone else? And I said, I did. So I went in and talked to this lady for a very brief time. She said a really important thing to me. Do you want to get rid of this? <laughs> yes. So it was my first introductory to tapping. She tapped on me and it was gone. It was just gone. I was free for the very first time. My life completely changed from that moment. It was heading me in a different direction. I was so alive for the first time. I was light. I was smiling again. I was happy again. And I was youth working at the time. So I started to study more. I wanted to know more. So I started, I, I went back and studied. I found out it was emotional freedom technique. I studied that. Then I studied neuro-linguistic programming. Then I studied hypnotherapy. All of this was helping me to understand more about who I am, about my mind, and how my mind affects my body. And then in 2010, I come across a video, just one video, just one video, Avoidaholics by the genius Robert Smith. And I knew watching that one video that this man had something that I wanted to know about. So I emailed Robert and Robert came out to Australia three weeks later and we I went to my first Faster EFT seminar in Melbourne and it was amazing. It was genius. He had brought all of the techniques together in this beautiful, simple, logical way of being. How to change the mind. So since 2010, I've done nothing but Faster EFT. That's all I do. I have a global practice all over the world. I have mentors all over the world. I mentor practitioners. I love this technique. 
But what I love about it, and this is what I really love about it, you will get to times on your journey where you want to quit, where you want to give up. And the three things that I learned from my story is no matter how alone you feel, you are never, ever, ever alone. I also learned to never, ever, ever give up. And I also learned, the third thing I learned was no matter what the so-called experts are telling you, if your intuition is saying no, or your gut feeling, whatever it is for you, it's a no. To trust your own self. And that's what fast EFT helps us to do. Once we take off all the layers of conditioning and programming, we're able to trust that more and more and more. So what you're learning here, um, I know one of Lolita, when Lolita spoke, to me the most important thing that Lolita shared was to just get out and do it and do it and do it. You know, dare to suck. Dare to suck. Because when we do it the first time, we will suck. But just keep going. 